You may restrict employees from checking in or out to just their scheduled work times by using the Restrict Check In Out to Schedule feature. This feature can help reduce unauthorized overtime or let employees know they are checking in or out outside their scheduled work times. There are three elements you can use in different combinations for the restriction settings. You can use their scheduled in and out times alone or in combination with their scheduled work area and or their scheduled pay code. These settings apply to all employees within a region or in an individual school. Employees must have schedules assigned for this feature to work properly. To activate this feature, you must be logged in as a system supervisor. From the Pocare home screen, go to Configuration and System, Locations and Users, Regions and Schools. If all schools in a region are to be set the same way, set the option at the region level and you are done. If necessary, you can modify individual school settings selecting the school itself then clicking the Set Options button for that particular school. With the region selected, click the Set Options button, then select the employee data line on the left. Scroll down to the Time Card Options setting to set the restriction options. By default, Do Not Restrict is chosen. The next option in the list is the most restrictive, limiting the employee to their scheduled in and out times, scheduled pay code, and scheduled work area. The next setting restricts only to their scheduled in and out times, but allows them to select a different work area or pay code when checking in. The next setting restricts them to their in and out times and their work area, but they could select a different pay code. The last option restricts them to their in and out times and allows them to select just another work area. To give employees some leeway time to check in or out before and after their scheduled times, Change the Grace Minutes setting, for example, to 15 minutes. Remember that these settings and the Grace Minutes apply to the employee's scheduled times. If you split an employee's schedule into a morning session and an afternoon session to allow, say, an hour for a lunch break in the middle, the Restriction and Grace Minutes settings apply separately to the morning and afternoon sessions. Therefore, if the employee takes their lunch at different times of the day, this feature may be too restrictive to be practical. As an example, if an employee is scheduled to work from 8 a.m. to noon and 1 p.m. to 5, allowing an hour for lunch between noon and 1 p.m., the employee will not be able to check in before 8 a.m. or out after 12 noon, nor in before 1 p.m. or out after 5. Once you have chosen a setting and set the grace minutes, click Save and Exit. If you need to change the setting for an individual school, click the small plus sign next to the region to reveal the schools, then select the school, and click the Set Options button for that school to make the change for just that school. Here are some examples of how each of these settings take effect at the check-in station. We'll use Mary Anderson as our employee. Remember, her scheduled work times must coincide with the check-in station date and time. Here's an example of no restrictions. Mary can check in and out, change her work area and pay code at the check-in station even if she has no schedule. With full restrictions, she must have scheduled work times or this error message will display. Further, she may not change either the work area or her pay code. With the scheduled work times restriction only, she can change both her work area and pay code. With scheduled work times and her work area restricted, she may only select a different pay code. And finally, with scheduled work times and pay code restricted, she may only select a different work area. That is how to activate and set up the Restrict to Schedule feature to control employee check in and out times in Procare.